You say hi. Say hi. Look. We Look over there. Say hi. We had it funny. So this is where we're at with eating. We go ahead and see. If, okay, we'll go ahead and see how he does with the spoon first. Because remember last time he was able to, to like scoop. That just, that just doesn't work anymore. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the food on the spoon for him and see if he can take the spoon and put it in her mouth. He's not going to, he's gonna push it back. So I'm gonna do this because I, this hand we're gonna put down because we don't want it on the table because it'll smack the spoon and all of that. But we still wanna see if he wants to try and help feed himself. He's gonna push it away. I'm gonna see if he's gonna put it in his mouth. He's kind of jerking back and forth. So now what we're gonna to have to do is just see if we can get it in his mouth. Can you open wide? Open wide. Open. There we go. And you see I did the one-year-old trick there. I tapped on the bottom of his lip to get him to open his mouth. So he opened up his mouth there. So, so I hold his hand with the left hand. We put in the spoon and kind of have it go in there. And that's what we kind of like right right now that's kind of where we're at so is he gonna let me put it in his mouth nope see we're jerking it away so we're gonna stop we're gonna go back to doing it ourselves open wide so we didn't open up far enough i had a temptation to stuff it in there but we don't want to do that because then all the food will just push off the spoon and and he's not really ready for it anyway so we want him ready he still can chew and everything he'll chew it all up and he'll swallow it and uh he hasn't started yet, but what you'll see is, so this hand here will come up every once in a while. And we used to try to give him feedback by smacking his hand. Well, then we discovered he didn't know the difference between smacking your hand and smacking your face. So a lot of the caregivers were getting a good blindside smack while they're trying to feed him. And we decided that's just not good. So if he's putting his hand up, the feedback I give him is I just push his hand down. It's not really a slap to the back of the hand. I just push that back down there. Uh, a little later here, he might get a little bit more excited and really start smacking the table and stuff like that. And I'll show you how we handle all of that. So we always try to see if he's going to feed himself. He's not going to. So I'm bring his hand up. Is he going to do it? Ah, good job. Good job. So whenever he does what we want, we want to reward him. Good job. Because he did actually put it into his mouth. He didn't jerk it or anything like that. We don't like the not wanting to feed ourselves at all. We chew it all up there. Let's see. So there's one thing I've been noticing when we do feed him. He didn't do it now, but sometimes he'll either gag, uh, and uh, so you might catch that. And all I can figure is, is we give him too much food in his mouth, and it got to the back of the, to the throat, or it's the texture of the food. So it's just like a banana or some yogurt or something, or. He's losing some tongue control and the food just got to the back of the throat and he doesn't know how to bring it back to the front to put it between his teeth to chew it and stuff like that. But right now he seems to be doing good. You gonna open wide? Good job, good job. That's what we like to see. Is that good? That's corn. We got chicken. So we want to wait till he's got his mouth fully open. We don't want to stuff it in there. You ready to swallow it? Sometimes if he's not swallowing, he'll chew it up. So we kind of do the throat massage here to help him swallow. And if he's still not swallowing, we will still, we'll go ahead and offer him some milk. He can, he can still drink that. We kind of want to have our hand there because sometimes he'll just want to toss that when he's done or he'll want to tip it up too high and spill it all on himself. So move that out of the way. We always follow the rule of thumb. Don't put any more milk in the cup than uh, what we want to clean up. So about four paper towels worth of milk there. Um, here we go. You want some chicken? Here. You hold that. You can put it in there this time. There you go. Good job. Oh, and see this hands up. We want it down there. But a hand a lot of times will reach in and just grab the food right back out of the mouth. And if that happens, usually the food goes flying over there. What you'll notice is he's staring over here. This was a suggestion of the occupational therapist. We have a mirror over here. 
so he can see himself eating. He uh, gives him some feedback to what he's doing. Not sure if it works or not, but sometimes he gets more distracted with that than seeing what he's doing. But sometimes when it's not there, then he's just staring off in the distance or staring at you and, and not focusing on eating anyway. So, here you go. You put your hand up here. You didn't do it? Here we go. You didn't do it this time? Oh, oh we're back to jerking around here. Oh, and see, he wanted to smack the table. So I'm going to do is I actually reach across and I grabbed his left hand with this, and that, that allows my, my arm to block his right hand from reaching up to bat the spoon or smack me in the face. And so again, I kind of push that down. We go back to it. If he's really active, he's not going to want to eat it anyway or not be ready for it. He's ready. Open your mouth. Open. Open. Do you want to try it yourself? Oh, no. We're going to hold that down. You open. Open. There we go. Good job. Good job. What I try to do is, is then let go of him. Don't touch his feet or anything. Because uh, with him, sometimes that's a little bit too stimulating for him. And then that, that's just, that's just uh, getting him really excited and everything. So he's actually doing really well right now for us. Uh, uh, He's been really calm this afternoon since so getting home. He's getting a little antsy in the chair. He's wanting to reach out with his legs and push on my legs. We kind of don't do that. So this is where he's trying to reach up to, to, to smack or sometimes he'll just hold his hand and everything. And so I just kind of push it back down there. Okay. Got it all chewed up. You ready for more? You ready for more? Here we go. I don't necessarily wait all the way for it you know, to be fully chew up everything in his mouth, um, but pretty much most of it. Here we go. Here we go. You gonna put it in your mouth? You gonna put it in your mouth? So, uh. open wide. See, he's ready to bat the spoon. We're smacking at the table now. There we go. Good job. So then he gets a little antsy while he's chewing, he doesn't know what to do. He's doing really well, he's not smacking the table or anything that much tonight. Um, but usually we start off good and then we kind of, as the meal wears on. But we do this for about 40 minutes to get through this plate of food. He'll eat it all and chew it all up and swallow it. And uh, so, you want to say bye-bye? You want to say bye-bye? I think we got everything we wanted to get in there. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Thanks for dinner.